everyone and welcome to part two of day one of my big pure weekender. It's time to do jammy and dee dee lessons over those terrifying lines that hopefully you saw in part one. Okay, so as you all know, I am here at Lucinda Frederick's yard to have a mammoth training weekend ahead of Badminton, which is creeping up on us. It's literally less than 10 weeks, less than 10 weeks away. I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel that prepared, nor does Jam Bam. So if you have very kindly put on this lovely, lovely camp, and if I pan behind me, you can see the fences, which I did with the gorgeous Purdy, who is one of Lucinda's and Ellie's horses. Absolutely amazing to ride her. I'll slot in a bit of that footage because she was incredible. Sit. Good, don't panic. Oh, I've panicked already. Yeah, don't. Good, look up, look up, look oh up. Oh my God. Pam, look at the jump. Now look at the corner, look at the corner. Land, one, two, three. Sorry, I did exactly no, what you told good. me not to do. No, I did, you did exactly the right thing. Left leg, looking, left leg. Yeah, lovely. Super, now down the line to finish. Eight. Look up, look up, look up. Good. Oh. Good girl. Well done. Just having a really, really nosy time, light, into their feed room, because look at all the pure bags. I've never actually seen all of the pure bags out because obviously I only order what I need to feed my horses. Oh wow, conditioning pellets. They are something that has never set foot on my yard because the ponies would get fat just smelling them. But yeah, look at all of them. So many pretty colors. One of the things about Pure that they do, you'll notice the bags are like all like super different colours. And part of the reason, like part of the reason for that is that A, they like to be bright and fun, but B, they're like, it's so easy for if you have someone looking after your horses or like if a non-horsey person's got to go and sling them some feed, you can literally be like, right, give them a scoop of the blue feed. And then it's really easy to do. Can't go too wrong. And it's, you know, complete feed, so literally can't mess it up. Anyway, speaking of feed, I'm going to go and have some lunch now. I'm actually feeling very good because this morning I obviously had that white food. Sorry, just awkwardly, awkwardly vlogging while you're trying to do the horses. Um, yeah, this morning I just had that mango lassie white food. Has filled me up an absolute treat. You guys know about waifu. I don't need to keep telling you. They're just incredible. They're meals in a bottle, 26 vitamins and minerals. Chef's kiss will fill you up and they're great for when you are pooping your pants at riding a really smart horse. Anyway, you can use my discount code, Elphic10. Elphic10 sounds a lot better this way <laughs> if you'd like to get 10% off and try anything on the waifu website. Details will be down below. <sighs> right, I don't actually think I'm about to eat much lunch, but we'll see. Contestant number one. Here's little Dee Dee, looking super smart. Jam Bam's like, hmm, I kind of thought we are here for a holiday. This is unacceptable, so just tacking up, ready for our lesson. I'm nervous, hopefully Lucinda's going to be kind to me. Let's put my little pad on there, Dee Dee. Oh, oh look how smart, even if it is acres too far forward. Alrighty, Roo. Dee Dee is up. My hat and gloves are around here, so I'm gonna grab them. Oh, stop strutting. Oh, you've not been through here to be fair, have you? I've walked through here a million times. That's why I don't want to look around, but you do. She's where's the stallions. They've got two gorgeous stallions. No, we're not staying in here. No, they're not even in this one. Yeah, they've got Timmy, who is a pony stallion. He's only five, but my word can he jump. Britannia's Bijou, I believe is his proper name. And they've also got Marley. Both are available AI and they are incredible. Purdy is related to Marley. That's his daughter that I rode earlier. Right, get my hat. Come on, gorgeous. Let's go. Oh, 
Instagram. <laughs> you are so naughty. <laughs> you bad pony. Why is she not going to badminton? I don't know. I've literally tried and tried and tried to get her qualified and every time I go to a qualifier, it just, it's like something seems to happen. Okay. Like she went to Chillington and the ground was awful in the show jumping and she just like completely lost her, lost her confidence and didn't want to jump. And then I took her to Bicton to the three day to try and qualify at 90 and she got stung by a wasp just before the dressage on her nose. So the dressage was awful, but she went double clear. Yeah, like she's been to so many qualifiers and <laughs> never qualified, and then it's the green one that actually goes. Yeah. And full Connie? Full Connie, yeah. She's not much of a risk taker. Like I thought, there was a point where I thought, oh, maybe I could take her novice because she did the one affiliated. Yeah. And she went clear, but there was like a, a big log into water and she just. Like she, it knocked her confidence, and she's just one of those that, like, if you ask her too much, she just says no. She makes a nice little picture, doesn't she? What is that? Sorry. She makes a nice little picture. Yeah. No, like she does really well out of venting. Our, our main thing is that she's just slow cross country, or I'm slow rather. Steady. Keep it round. Keep it round. Yeah. <laughs> Try not to let her run. Horses tend to. Stop or say no or run out when they're not in a balance. They're not presented properly. You know, if you weren't steady, keep it round, round. Think of the left hand, little fingers, little fingers. Well done, sweet pea. Okay. Now try to keep your hand down. Keep your hand down, down. Bend your elbows, down. Steady, steady. Whoa. There's, there's your problem. Try to take the pace off a bit. Think about making a half halt. Half halt. Use your upper body, sit up. Good. Sit up. Oh. Oh. Better. Slowly. Slower. Slower. Oh. You want to get another distance in here. Yeah. And again. So you get more control with a bit steadier pace. Yeah. Okay, and again, keep both your lower legs forward and slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Good. It's like jumping arrowheads or skinnies or corners. As soon as you adjust them with one hand, they're going to go crooked. Yeah. Because they'll go like that. Yeah. Straight onto that shoulder. Yeah. So everything's got to be here. Yeah. Right? There. And they, it's the lower leg that keeps them straight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm, my go-to is my hands and then it skews everything else. And also, else. with a loose ring, you'll get less straight. So what you could do is just put the rubber rings on. Okay. Put the, you know, the bit guards. Yeah, okay. Is she strong? Yeah, she's like a dead strong. Like, she leans on you. I want you to be able to come down these, only looking at the last one. Once you've turned, look at the last one. Okay. All right? Yeah. And then just try to make her, she's, you know, she's a goer. Yeah. Just make her wait. Delayed, yeah. Good. Delay it. Whoa. Now she's got to get an extra stride in there. Better. Take a rounder. She doesn't need to have her head up. Take a round. Go on. Make her stay round. <laughs> That's better. Great. Add. Add. Good. Add. Better. Yeah. Good. Half hold. Good. Straight. Look up the last one. Wait. Half hold. Better, but she went offline at the last. Yeah, I don't know why she keeps being naughty and trying to do that last one. And again. Good. Half halt, right rein, right rein, right rein, right rein. Yeah, she didn't half halt, did she? Yeah. So as soon as you push her forward, Meg, she's then gone. Yeah. So you're 
A to go forward is going to be lighter and then immediately half hold. Right, okay. okay. Go again. Good. Land. Whoa. Now nearly hold. Nearly hold. How many strides do you do between the first three, the first one to two was great. Yeah. And then you let it run off. Yeah. Good. Discipline her. Turn right. She doesn't need to run. Yeah. The same canter all the way through. Nearly hold. Nearly hold. Better. Hold your leg on off. Good. Ooh. Yeah, well done. Good discipline. So even there, I do, I wonder also if you as a rider need to make sure you don't overbend left and underbend right. Okay. Yeah. Just nicely. Good. Cool, turn right. Good, lovely. Lovely, turn right, think left. Okay, it doesn't matter, trot. Ooh. Oh, she's got it, she's got it. Did you oh. feel her? Yeah. She changed. Come on. And try and feel if that happens, be quick enough to carry on. Secondly, you look at the pole, counting, and then you get your eyes up early. Oh, God. Yeah. And again, do it again. Okay. Sorry, so, well done. basically, you just let go and didn't keep her on I the hook. I panicked, hikes. yeah. Keep the balance. Just gently. Look at the blue pole. Look. Sit. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Lovely. Good. Good. Now, look at your fence. Look at your fence. Good. Canter poles. Lovely. Good. Right, okay, keep okay. going. Super. Very good. One more. Okay. <laughs> That's why I like riding ponies. I've got a fifth leg. Right. So what are you going to do this time to get Not let, her, not let her run. In yeah, between. and stay bulged. Bigger bulge. Bigger bulge. Okay. Sit. Don't let her run. Come on, keep her together. 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 Yeah. Good girl. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, good. Look at the second. Good girl. Very nice. So round here, you're looking at the front of that. Yeah. When you're three strides before that, you are looking exactly where our front feet are going to go. That's what I'm, like, I find really difficult. You've is You've got to get your eyes up. Yeah, I do. Then, like... then you're going to turn right. Go yeah. and jump just a skinny second. Eyes on. Counting. Good. Turning. Look early, look early, look Cause early. Because I supposed to... I don't know how I'm going to make that. Yeah, you will. Should I do that again or should yes. I... Look early. Right, I'm, it's okay. I got scared. Where are you going? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Counting, same rhythm. One, two, three, four. Looking right. Both reins. Keep going. Hands still. Don't panic. Pa barrels, don't panic. Upper body up. Good. Good. Upper body up. Upper body hold her. Look at the oxa, hand together, hand together. Oh God, I can't. Go on. I'm gonna go do the line that you said between those two, between the pole and the thingy. Just ride straight. Good. Good. Okay, do the whole thing again. Okay. So what, what did you do here that didn't let you jump the fence because I couldn't see what you did I don't know like far out I I just couldn't see a stride and then I didn't know what to do okay, to so correct it. So when that happens just keep the balance on the hind leg okay, okay? yeah and then the stride will come I yeah. promise you, you I'm look, just such a boy like look, if I can't see it I'm and like, okay. count okay. okay 
and don't panic and go, oh, I can't see a stride. Just say, balance and wait for it. God. Okay. okay. Go on, try again. Okay. Look up. Squeeze your hands. Squeeze your hand. Good looking. Both reins. Hand still. Hand still. Put on a hox. On a hox. Barrels. On her hox. Hand still. Hand together. Hand together. Squeeze. Good. Good. Look. You're going at it. Hand still. Counting. There you go. Lovely. Good girl. Very good. Better, hey? Yeah. Yeah, because I looked at that again and was like, oh, look, that's tried. But then you but were screaming at me. I think I've just got into the habit of not really having any connection when I'm doing a course. So like, it felt a lot, like my strides came a lot easier because I never like let go of her. Like I, yes. every time she went to run, yes. I held so her. Always, you always want to jump, most horses want to jump into a contact. Yeah. Yeah. There aren't many. Yes, you can soften, yeah? yeah. But to let go, she's, she's dribbling brown sweat. <laughs> She always sweats so much from her ears. Good um, girl, DD. The other ones start the same? Yeah, the other one, I, I'm, I think she'll struggle with these. So I can put these on those. Tram okay. Lines. Yeah. yeah. Tram lines on those, tram lines on the barrels. Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and she's a little bit more, just a bit more lucky, that one. Hey, Jam, did you get to watch the whole lesson? She was good though, wasn't she? She's really good, yeah. I think there's a box in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, literally off one, on to the next. But yeah, very chuffed with how Dee Dee went. Lots to, lots and lots to work on and different way of riding, but she felt so much better. So yeah, really pleased. Just a bit more nervous for Jammy be honest because the lines are quite hard and there's lots of skinnies and we haven't actually practiced that many skinny things but we will see Get the shots in. So, and how big she? She's gonna be 15, two at least, three. Do you think? Yeah. Let's have a look. No. She's pony. No, she's not. <laughs> 15, one. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Good girl. So, I'm off. So, is she tricky in the mouth? Yeah. Very tricky in the mouth. So, I've had her since she was three. And like. Is she difficult to get round? I wouldn't say she's difficult to get round on the flat, but coming into a fence, like I used to have the worst problems with her, literally like up here. Yep. And she'll still do that a bit now. She'll like, yep. she'll throw her head up. She won't she's stay up as much. She's got a very powerful back end. Yeah. And she. And she's re and, she's, and she's downhill, so like she doesn't know what to do with that because it just plows her into the ground. So then she almost like compensates by really coming up with her head, I think. Um, but yeah, and she's like she's a lot luckier. Like she's. She's got a better jump. How old is she? Nine. No, she's eight. She's eight. She's cut. Yeah, coming eight now. Um, would she be more powerful than the other one? Yeah, more powerful, but more blood. No, still full Connie. Is she? Yeah. Um, I think she's got more like jumping lines in her. She doesn't look like a Connie back end. No. Well, we think that she's got draft in her somewhere. She's, she's got, got a something Connie different. Passport, but yes. I think she's got some draft in her yeah. somewhere. Good girl. Ooh. Round. Turning, looking where you're going. Well done. See, it's not a jump. No, she just needs to walk to the front of it and then step over it. Just walk to the front. Steer her. Really hold both reins, outside and lower, so that she can't pop out of that shoulder. Steady, better. Yeah? yeah. And turning. Yeah, keep on the circle. So think about that is a part of the circle. Yeah. Good. Keep turning. See you're turning. Turning. Turning, turning, good. Open, yeah. your open your thighs and let your legs drop down. 
So she needs to put another stride in. Okay. Yeah, because what you don't want them to do is to take off here and then have to go. Ugh. And then la yeah. You want to get here and just step over. Better. Good. Good. Girl, jam. Good. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, don't lift your hand. Right. So keep your hand down. Yeah. Little fingers touching your saddle. Go on, touch your saddle. Push your fingers into the saddle. Into the saddle. Steer with your leg. Good. There you go. Oh. Then you've got control. Hand down. Keep turning. Turning. <laughs> Slower. Ooh. So she can see. She's got to see what she's doing. Slowly. Slowly. Yes, good. Put your left elbow down. <laughs> left elbow down, circle. You didn't. You missed it. Yeah, yeah. Come on. God, I feel like I can't. I feel like my arms aren't long enough to go any further down. Straighten your elbow. Straighten your elbow. Yes. Every time you rise, good turning. You're still not curving round on the pole. <laughs> Just curve and be already turning right. Already turning right. Good. Good. Jimmy. Good. Move the mouth down. Come on, move the mouth down. Move the mouth. Yes, good. Good. And again. Pick. It's that last stride. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Good, good. Okay. So that can be your homework. Okay. I know it's so Just silly. with like a, a skinny raised pole. Yes, any any raised pole. It makes it skinny, it makes you think more. Well, yeah. yeah. You have to ride. That's the thing, like I do a lot of poles, but probably They've got to be right. round. Yeah. Because otherwise their muscles aren't, aren't working doing properly. the right yeah. thing. Good. Good. Round. Use the left right to get around. Left, right. Left, right. Good. Looking and counting. Left, right. Very good. Good. Super. Soften the neck down. Good, counting all the way. Good, good. So good. it becomes easy. Yeah. Yeah, she ran a bit, didn't she? Yeah. You had a good distance. And just, you know, use your upper body. Sit on her gently. Yeah, good. Good. Perfect. Good. Yeah? Okay, yeah. other way. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, okay finish. That was my favourite one. That was my favourite one too. Good girl. <laughs> okay. Yay. So I look at her and she's, in my opinion, that I've just seen her, she's more athletic yes. than the other one. Yes, she, yeah, no, she is. She's got more range. She definitely to has, herself, yeah. Hasn't she? She's, de she's a lot scopier, but she's sort of more difficult to ride yes. in terms of her. Well, she's more head. She's less ponyish. Yeah, she's too. a bit hotter. And... Okay, so let's go down here. Okay. Canter. Oh, oh. Steady, turn right, right. Because you've landed right, it's fine. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Quality canter. Quality canter. Now you're looking at this blue pole. Oh, hold, squeeze her, squeeze her. Okay, right. Make her sit. Okay, and turn right, right. Stay straight. Same rhythm, squeeze her mouth. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, good. Good. She has to learn to wait. Yeah, I've been trying to do poles at home and I end up putting them to her distances but then it doesn't achieve anything because I'm just doing so long So you've poles come off the right. Wait, wait, squeeze the mouth, squeeze the mouth. Good. Yeah, lovely. Turn left. So the contact doesn't decrease. It stays there. It stays there. It stays there. Yeah, good. Because she does get going a bit. Good girl. Okay. Right, now you're going to come round here and just jump the oxa. Dead centre. Well done. Left. Good. Good. And again. You're going behind me. But look at the plank. Look at the plank. Good. Look at it. Perfect. 
Beautiful. Good. You feel the difference? Yeah. Oh, Lucinda, I got scared. No, don't. Just remember what I said in the other one. Sit. Look at the jump, look at the jump. Good. Good. Oh, oh my God. Look at the height she gets then. She felt incredible then. Because. Good jammy. You're making her balance. I just can't believe how quickly that's happened though. Like I've been, I know this, know this has been a problem for months and you've literally just sorted it like that. But I've tried to sort it at home. But I yeah, but like, how do you sort it? Well, I think I've been trying to hold her more, but then she throws her head. So then I'm like, oh, I'm doing something wrong. So then I don't do that anymore. Yeah, and then you, then you do nothing. But doing the poles, like just making her stay down then, then I've been able to like do that up to a fence and be like, no, like you can actually do it. Like I'm not asking yeah. for the wrong thing. And she's got a really athletic way of going. Yeah. I really like her. Yes, yeah, she's the other one's neat. She's a neater package. Yeah. In a way that she's terribly correct. Yeah. But this is an athlete. Yeah. Hold her. Look at the jump. Equal hand. Equal hand. Keep your leg on. Click, click, click. Well done. Good Gently. Job. Back to trot. Ooh. Good. Take a round. Trot over the skinny pole. Slower, Ooh. slower. Take a round. Round. Come on. Do something. Do something. Better. Then she waited. Slower. Yeah. Hey, hey, well, hey. Relax. Just sit straight. Sit straight. Good. Well done, Jamie. Okay. Get, hold her straight, and then look at the second. Look at the second. Very good. good. Back, well to done, trot. Back. Back to trot. Trot. Sorry, 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 sorry. Come over here. Go left and back over that other skinny. Take your time. Hand down and hand together. Really together. Together, together, together. Good. Good girl. Okay? Yeah. Look at the jump, look at the jump. Now eyes up. Oh my eyes god. Up. You look, look down. Down. All the way through you look down. Do it again. Okay. Ooh. If I your head's really down, hard doing it out of trot. If your head's I oh know. Keep trotting, it's good for you. Slow balance diagonal. Hand down. Wait. Look up. Ah. Good, good. Now look at the corner. Count. Look at the corner. Get a straight. Get your leg on. Leg on. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> ah. Balance, balance, do it again. Look up. Good girl. Bye, Mum. Bye, Dad. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> I was going to say it's rude. <laughs> uh, barrels. Can you... Yeah. Keep control. She's coming to the two skinnies where you are. Come forward. Take your time. Both reins. Look, look right. Oh. Well done, Good. sweet pea. Balance. Change your lead. She's coming Ooh. table to Oxa. New fence. Keep her straight. Both legs, both reins. Now look at the oxa, look at the oxa. Counting. Sorry, sorry, too sorry, much sorry. Pull. Too much way too much pull. So do that again. Force yourself to just landing. Lean. Yeah. Lean on her mouth. Don't pull. Just lean. Eyes on the oxa, eyes on the oxa. Eyes lean. Ah, it's a good girl. Ooh. Corner. Look at the next oxa. Look at it. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Sorry. Count. Look. Look up. Look up. Good. Go again. No. Go again. Go again. What? Those last four. Go again. The whole thing. Okay. 
I want the same rhythm all the way. This is what I mean about count. coming backwards. Yeah, That's don't talk. Hard. Don't talk. Force yourself to count and feel the same canter. Same canter. Same canter. Now just lean back on her mouth. Lean back. Hold her. Hold her. Look right. Look right. Quiet. Good Count. Penny. Count. Count. Just lean. Don't shorten her. Just lean up. Don't shorten. Tight hand. There you go. Corner. Four strides. Look at the oxer. Look at it. Look at it. One, two, three, four. There Better you go. Good. Balance, balance. Better, hey? It's so good to put up with me. Like no, no, she's is... fine. But you just, Ooh. typical intelligent person, you, you get too much. You, this computer gets full of unwanted information. Yeah, yeah. Okay? If I'm, you, I usually say, the computer is full of it gets full of unwanted information and then it's overloaded. Yeah. And then it can't work. And I think okay. it, like she has got a big enough stride for me to let her go. Oh my god. I'm just Ellie, you so know used to ponies. Molly. I don't know if it's because I've like babied her because I've had her since she was oh, young. She's really nice. She's really smart. And that's why I feel like I hold her back. Okay, you're gonna do one more thing. You're gonna come around here and you jump this. Two strides, this I'll put it down. Okay. Just that one. And then go down two, one there, one, one's fine. And then up the other one. All right, Are you gonna watch one exercise? <laughs> Just look at the corner, okay? So when you get, go into the corner, hand together, hand together. Good, counting. Now look at the corner. You've got it, you've got it, look up. Yes. Oh my God, I kicked rather than pulled. Yes. Good girl. You can go home now. <laughs> Yay, a lap of honor. <laughs> this one, she has a horse stride. Yeah, yeah. She's a horse, she's a horse, she's a horse. Right, like because I'm so used to ponies. Yeah, yeah. I think I've been trying to ride her like a pony. Ellie, your spurs are here. Happy? That? Yeah, really, okay. really, really happy. Good. Yeah, no, that was good. That just felt, I need to just have some faith that the distance is, oh. is gonna work for me. Yeah, 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 no, she's cool. She's really cool. Oh, you are so good. <laughs> you gonna find Didi. Do you stir up? Yeah, a little superstar. Watch that washing machine again. Yep. Steady. Steady. Oh, look, it's off now. Are you alright? I've stopped smiling since getting off jam. Oh my word. Yes, I made a lot of mistakes um, and I was wussy, but Lucinda's very good with me. She doesn't let me put in loads of circles and I get told off when I do, which is what I need because I don't actually need to put in the circles. I'm just a complete wuss bag. Um, but oh my God, the jam felt incredible. That's my first like proper jump with her um, since her break. Like obviously she's jumped a bit at home, but like, this is the first kind of testing thing I've done. And she just felt wonderful. I learned so much. Like so, 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 so happy. And the third horse I'm going to ride is currently cantering past us in three, two, one. <laughs> 
gorgeous, gorgeous little shrimpy there. So he is one of Ellie's rides. He's mega. I absolutely adore him. I think I said in the first vlog, I literally went and found him because I just love, 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 love watching him on Instagram. He's got the most incredible jump. He's like, he's insane. I think Ellie's gone two star on him. I believe I'd have to check those facts. I think he's a little bit quirky, not the easiest to ride, but then when they're super talented like him, they often aren't. But he's, yeah, he's gorgeous and they've trusted me to have a little ride on him. <laughs> Said I'm not gonna jump because I'm too scared to jump. He's basically bear, that's what he is. He's gorgeous though, so gorgeous. Anyway, so I'm gonna have a ride on him. Yeah. Excited. Right. Give me the next strap. <laughs> Shouldn't need it. Honestly, you do treat me. <laughs> Thank you. Good boy. Because my elbow. Shrimp's like, game on. What idiot have you, you got running? up top? You've got, he seems bubbly, but you've got to have quite a lot of leg on him. Okay. I can't believe I'm riding shrimp. Oh my <laughs> God. You look quite good. Can I buy him? him? I'll buy him just for Ellie to event him so I can watch. <laughs> oh God. Kind of the opposite of Purdy. Oh well, not really, but. <laughs> you can, I don't know, I told you I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, you can use the walk especially to figure out where your leg needs to be so he's going into shoulder in, lots of travers, so his back uh -huh. legs are constantly crossing. Okay. Good boy. Go keep him going forward. Wow, you, there's a lot of sideways there. Yeah, he's he's very good at his sideways. A lot of that, yeah. Especially if you're doing the shoulder in down the long side, make sure you're looking in the mirror so you can then Not know too how much. much of an angle that you're at. Uh huh. You don't need it to be, you don't really want them to be on four tracks. Okay, Ooh, yeah. Shrimpy. Yeah, if you keep a strong contact and the crossing behind tends to get him to engage more behind and then he should become more into the contact. Okay. Good boy. Crossing but forward, shrimp. Yes. <laughs> Keep the outside leg so he doesn't doesn't just go sideways. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Well done, shrimpy. He's so <laughs> cool. Oh, well, let's just hope he stays on his best behaviour. Um, when you're ready and happy, you can go into trot. Okay. But if you're happy fiddling in the walk, fiddle in the walk. <laughs> You're a bit kinder than your mum, I'd say. <laughs> Good, boy. Good boy. So that in his trot, he likes to go really long behind. So this is when you have to have him really on his hop uh -huh. and lots and basically lots of shoulder in. Okay. So just half half halt him. Whoa. Good boy. Outside hand down. So it's not like, there you go. Then he goes slightly rounder. Yeah. Good boy. I feel like he's got so many more buttons than mine, and I'm like <laughs> press, pressing them all. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Keep that outside leg on his shoulder so he's not going too sideways. Okay. There you go. Good boy, Shrimpy. Hello. Good boy. <laughs> he's quite bouncy, isn't he? He is. He's lovely, though. <laughs> <laughs> he does go. Um, if you can imagine that every stride you're half halting. Right. So you're woeing and letting go. So you're almost reminding him that he can't just piss off. Yeah. And that he actually needs to wait yep. and listen to you. Outside, um, inside leg, so he's crossing a bit more. I've got a bit of a tilt there, haven't I? Yeah. He tends to, this way, he Ooh. tends to prefer to kind of bring his go more into sh um, half part, half part? Right. Travers. We'll right. get the words okay. eventually. Yeah. Okay, so. Use your outside hand, just cr support it, don't bring it inside, but just use it to make sure that the shoulder isn't, isn't going drifting. out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where are all these buttons, shrimp? <laughs> She's because telling lies about to be, you, shrimp. He decides to shrimpify it. Oh, good. If you come, where could we go? Um, keep jotting, I'll figure it out eventually. Uh, I did. Shrimpify. Shrimpify. 
butterfly. Uh, Meg, when you come round, keep circling, when you come round again, come between these two fences yep. and you're going to leg yield towards Adam. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Yeah. Gotcha. You shouldn't, he shouldn't need a lot of leg. leg, but you will probably have to keep him quite in the hand because you go off a centre line and he tries to go rather than going sideways. He's very good at his centre lines, but uh, keep the shoulder. Good. There you go. Keep him crossing. Take your legs slightly back more. Come round and do that again and take your inside leg back a bit more so he's crossing behind, like his bum's crossing a bit more. So he's okay. staying straight instead of leading with his shoulders. So lots of inside leg. Yeah, good. And keep that outside range strong. Okay, yeah, okay. Send him forward a bit more. Make sure he's off your leg. Turn your, turn your toe out when you kick him. Right. He might seem rather bubbly, but he's not actually off. He's never actually off your leg. He lulls you into a false sense of security. <laughs> Set him back a bit. Ooh. Sorry, it's just playing with your trot you've got. <laughs> <laughs> My ponies don't have that trot. <laughs> Good girl, turn him up the centre line. Half hold him as you cross. So lean back with your body. Good girl, there you go. That's better. Are you feeling comfortable in the trot? Yes. Good, so you're okay to canter? Yep. Only Good. getting bored now. <laughs> oh, there's only so much I can do. Aren't you lovely and considerate? Yeah, I know. Well, you're okay. Right, so you can take him into canter and we'll have a play with that. Do you, only, do you actually use your inside leg? Yes. Oh yeah, you really do only use your inside leg. Yeah, he's yeah, very obedient. Now, in the canter, when you feel him getting big or strong, that's when you really have to put him into the shoulder in, okay. or the travers, either or. But you just send him onto his hind end a bit more. Okay. Good. He looks really good. Lovely. <laughs> Make your legs long. further back and down in the saddle. There you go. And now this way you've got to keep your outside leg on so he's crossing, but make sure that he's actually moving forward in front. Half halt. Good, keep him crossing. Lots I was literally like, <laughs> avoid the jump, avoid the jump, avoid the jump. <laughs> No. <laughs> Lucinda, I will literally get off and walk away. <laughs> Good, keep that outside rain. Oh, yeah. Mother, worst thing to do. Meg, just come across the diagonal and do a simple change through trot. Okay. He's re he should be really responsive, so just use your inside leg and make sure you've got the correct bend. Keep the outside Oops. hand. Yeah, I'll let that go. <laughs> How did you see that? <laughs> now this way, he's not very good at bending inwards. Okay. So you have to kind of slightly lift up your inside hand. Yeah. Because he bends, but he doesn't bend properly. Yeah, it's almost like he's not looking. Yeah. It's a, I don't know why, it's just shrimp. I'll just sort it for you now, Ellie, if you want. Oh, yeah, that would be really appreciated. <laughs> it's fine, you can go do the dressage, I'll do the other parts. <laughs> I think you'd be disappointed with your 40 when I come out. Oh, well, I'll blame it purely on shrimp. It will definitely be all shrimp's fault. Boy. Um, come up here and leg yield out, but you might just want to avoid that pole. I mean, feel free to try and jump it, but it's shrimp. Sorry, right, don't you worry. Yeah. Don't you worry, I will not be feeling free to jump anything. <laughs> so uh, off, off of the track. Either way, either way. Sit him on his hocks. Good, keep your leg on. Avoid like the plague. <laughs> okay, sit him on his hocks and really use your legs so he doesn't just drop in to trot. Good, kick him. Good, there you go. Get him to cross. Good. What way am I circling? Just inside the fences so you don't go over them. Okay. Well done, that was better. Good boy. Do you see how much, did you feel how much more he was underneath himself? Yeah, yeah, and I, yeah. I was actually asking 
I think I was a bit namby pamby the first time I did it, so I wasn't telling you where to actually That's go. Fine. Keep your inside hand still. Kick him. Good. Get him to cross. Outside leg back. Get him to cross more behind. There you go. Well done. One. Keep it on, keep it on. Good. good Much boy. better. That was really good, Meg. Good boy. Keep half halting him. Try and cut. There you go. Collect. That was, those three strides there were really good. There you go. Okay, now you're going to come round that corner down there. Really, really small trot. You're going to change the bend to shoulder in. Do a, sorry, yes, sorry. Do a cup circle there, shoulder in. So he's bum out, shoulders in. Really get him on his hocks. Make him as round as you can. Sorry, keep, no, that's fine, keep, keep, just keep circling him. I will try and get you to get him into a really, really small trot. And then you can go medium down alongside. So lots of outside rain, make sure he's not bending in. Yes. Did you hear that? Yep, I heard that. Yeah. Good, you're basic. So you've got to imagine that you're using your outside leg to, sh to control the shoulders. Push him. Keep a really strong contact. Good. Well done. Back again. I know. Very light, very nice. And keep his bum out. Good, really good, Meg. Well done. Bring him across where me and my mum are and do a nice square halt. Tyler, come on. Bum out. Good boy. Ooh. Good. Kick him. Good. Well done. <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> wow. <sighs> no. Oh, I, I feel very honoured. <laughs> Thank you. Good boy, Shrimpy. He's very that cool. He did him good, didn't it? Very, very cool. He's slightly psychotic beforehand. <laughs> Are we not Yeah. Oh. Running. Can you put that on him? I can... <sighs> can't believe I've just been shrimp. I feel starstruck, honestly. The amount of hours I've spent stalking him on Instagram, you need to go to Ellie's Instagram, Ellie Frederick's eventing, I believe I'll pop it up, because there are some epic shots and videos of him. He's insane, and we're going to see a little bit of that now. The vlog just keeps giving, guys, because Ellie is going to jump around some of these spooky fences. Hopefully she watched me jam and D earlier, knows what she's doing. <laughs> What a masterclass that was. Oh my word, shrimp is epic. His knees, imagine him and bear, like a him and bear hybrid would be, I mean, it'd be probably impossible to sit, but yeah, that was awesome. So it's nearly feed time for the ponies. But speaking of feed, we're gonna nip into Lucinda's lovely feed room and have a little chat about what I need to be doing at Badminton, how I need to kind of change my feeding routine if I need to change my feeding routine, have a little discussion and pick her brain about what she's done with her badminton horses in the past. 
different badminton. She's done the five star, but you know, 90, similar. What's, what's, you know, however many centimeters that is. Nothing. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. You two both did so well. Would you like some dins? Would you like some dins and a little hand graze? Should we hand graze first? Right, let me put my tack away. What a day. Also two types of horses, Jam and D. <laughs> I'm a D type of horse, sir. So. Go on, Jammy, have a bit of grass. Go on. Just taking off a little hand graze now to try and stretch their legs, get some greens in them. So obviously they're used to being out all day. And they've had a busy old day today, traveling and then riding and being in their stables. So nice bit of grazing whilst we wait for the last SD card from Adam to download. Ah, oh, it's been such a nice day. I've literally had the best time ever and it feels like really spring-like. Just, yeah, good day had by all. That was busy, four horses in four hours. Maybe it was a little bit more than four hours, but you know, for this video's sake, four horses in four hours is what we did. So much fun, learned so much on all of them. Lucinda and Ellie are just incredible instructors. It's, it's like they're on top of the horse with you, almost. Lucinda can just say things before they happen and the, the tiniest little adjustments, but they just make such a big difference. So it was very, very useful, wasn't it, Bam Bam? I'm really chuffed, <laughs> so chuffed. Like Dee was absolutely mega and she really got my confidence up, but Jam just felt epic. I think because I've not jumped Jam, properly this year like I said it just felt really epic to be doing some trickier lines like that that um two stride double on the angle to the corner and I pushed pushed I didn't actually hold oh I can't wait to look at all the footage it's gonna be epic 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 anyway I may as well close the video here all we can do now is go and feed and then we're all off for a big team dinner a team curry which would be lovely oh it's hard to manhandle two ponies and a camera anyway thank you very much for watching be sure to tune in tomorrow it's not gonna be tomorrow for me it's tomorrow for you guys it won't be tomorrow oh oh no angry angry but yeah be sure to look out for part three of this video we're going to be doing a serious fitness regime tomorrow we're going to go up onto those beautiful hills behind me and talk about how fit the horses need to be and what kind of speed I need to go out. I'm gonna wear my GoPro, it's gonna be epic. I believe we've also got a dressage lesson, although I did hear Lucinda saying something about jumping. However, I want to get some dressage tips of how to lower your marks. So tune in for part three to find out how to get lower dressage marks or higher if you're not an eventer and also talk about fitness for badminton. Right guys, hit that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind because it helps me have this absolute dream job. It really does. I honestly wouldn't be here without you guys. All right, live, love, love you. Bye. Emma says bye. Oh, no, okay, really bye.